Hello, children of God. This is Yemi. Today, I heard the Lord say to someone, the separation is your preparation. As I prayed about this word for better understanding, I saw someone being dragged away from something that resembled a place of familiarity. The scene reminded me of the biblical account of the angel of the Lord dragging Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah, just as Lot was forcibly separated from the sinful city for his own protection, so too is the Lord separating someone from a situation for their growth. If you are questioning a recent separation that has occurred in your life, whether it be from things or people, the Lord is speaking to you through this message. He wants you to understand that the separation is not a punishment, but a preparation for what he has in store for you. In the Bible, we see numerous instances where God separates individuals or groups before fulfilling his promises to them. He separated Abraham from his homeland and family before leading him to the promised land. Genesis 12 and 1. He separated the Israelites from the bondage of Egypt before leading them to the land flowing with milk and honey. Exodus 3, 7 through 8. The separation in your life is a sign that God is preparing you for greater blessings and fulfillment. He knows what is best for you and he is orchestrating every detail of your life for your ultimate good. So trust in his plan, even when the separation is difficult and painful. I encourage you to be strong as you walk through the season of preparation and growth. Seek God's guidance and direction during this time and allow him to lead you into the fullness of his promises. Remember his word in Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. I pray for you today that the Lord will strengthen you. May you feel his presence as you navigate through this journey of preparation and growth. May his peace and comfort envelop you. And may you emerge from this season stronger and more equipped for the blessings ahead. In Jesus' name, I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.